Hey Star Wars fans and Star Wars collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. Now, I was going to be going into some vintage collection stuff from Triple Force Friday, but uh, a bunch of new Black Series stuff has sort of hit in the last week or two. Um, and it was my birthday on the weekend, I turned 32 and I did get some awesome, awesome gifts. Um, some I purchased myself, <laughs> um, and that's okay. Uh, but this is the Target exclusive, c 3 pm Babu Frick, and uh, for the first time in a long time, um, it's an exclusive that has actually hit Target stores here in Australia. Um, just since Force Friday, we've actually had two exclusives hit here before the uh, US release date, which is absolutely uncanny, um, both being this one and the Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, so... Things could be looking up for us down here in Australia, so fingers fingers are crossed. Not keeping my hopes up, but uh, here we have it. C-3PO and Babu Frick. Now, if you do go onto target.com.au, do not search for that. Search for CP3O because they have misspelled it, or just search for um, Star Wars Black Series and, it'll, and it will come up as an individual item as opposed to them usually um, listing waves as an assortment and they just throw you a random one in the box. So, I'll put the box down there behind. So just the short right up there says C-3PO longs for more peaceful times, but his continued service to the Resistance keeps him on the front lines of galactic conflict. As you can see there the image of the two of them. And uh, interestingly enough, Ray's staff is in the picture there, but it doesn't come with the figure. Um, which is potentially the only real gripe, although it's not a gripe because um, I'm sure most of us have a few spare Ray staffs by now. But uh, I'll give you a 360. Now, um, for the most part, this is a new C-3PO. It is using the same 3PO mold that they used for the most recent Galaxy's Edge droids pack. Uh, Droid Depot pack, which I did actually get on my birthday, um, thanks to my wife. As you can see, Babu Frick here is just blue tacked on his back. Um, just wanted to have him in the frame of shot, um, just so I could show them together. So in previous 3PO's we've had, the uh, elbows don't move. This time we've got that added articulation, um, which is really, really nice. And added swivel at the top of the arm and uh, I will dig into that shortly accessory wise he comes with Chewie's bowcaster and bandolier and his pack it is quite loose um, it is from a Chewbacca figure um, and it does slip off quite easily so um, for the purposes of this review I've taken it off but I have used just a stick of blue tack underneath just on top of the shoulder just so it sits a little nicer. Um, the other different thing about this 3PO is it has a unique head. Um, we've all seen Red Eye 3PO in the trailer. Now with this figure it will change Red Eyes when it's cold so you, you could put it in the freezer whereas today it's, it's quite a fresh day today so they've sort of gone this almost red colour and uh, if I just maybe keep my finger over the top and hold it there for a moment so there we are the yellow back to normal and they're slowly slowly turning red again blow some cool air on it also we get the back of the head is removable Pretty sure I didn't make that up. <laughs> it is a nice tight fit, and I will get it here shortly. There we go. So we get the inner workings of the back of 3PO's head. is a nice feature and uh, as you can tell it does clip on quite nicely so 
won't fall off like the bandolier just did. So we'll strip him down. Um, he also has a new hand so he can grip the grip the bandolier. Uh, sorry, bowcaster. And then have this hand holding it as well. We'll just keep that in his hand for the moment. But overall, the rest of the paint scheme is great, um, nice and accurate. They still haven't they still haven't gone back and revisited the real sort of brushed chrome look um, that they've done with 3PO figures in the past, which is fine. Um, I do have to glue. A piece of the bandolier on at some stage. Um, one thing I do like is they've got the sort of the silver streak in the shoulder joint there correct. Um, the other one that's just come out in the Droid Depot set doesn't have that added detail so that's nice. All gold. It's nice to see him fully gold. Fully functional really nice 3PO figure. In terms of articulation he's got a hinge in a head in his head ball hinge there and swivels a swivel shoulder joint there with the uh, sort of that cuff pieces over the top there is a hinge underneath the ball hinge there swivel at the bicep there or tricep I can't remember He's got the elbow joint, as you can see, that rod sort of moves up and down. Ball hinge wrists, joint at the torso, so you can really check out the wires and the detail there. Hinged thighs, swivel at the th thighs there, really nicely hidden. Single joint in the knees, and hinges in the ankles. So nice articulation all around on this one. Now let's get a look at little Babu Frick. Now what I will do is I will just hold him and see how he goes zooming right in. There we go, there's the little fella. He is tiny. <laughs> he is seriously tiny. But very, very cute. I'm looking forward to seeing this guy. Even more so. Now, he's so small, but they've managed to give him some articulation. Much like the Porgs. Um, he does have his little welding visor that comes down, which is nice. He does have a little bit of... I know he does have waist movement there. And he does have little ball socket arms that can come out there too. So the little Babu Freak, the droid builder, mechanic, And I've lost focus. Let's try to get that back. There we go. He's pretty sweet. I like him a lot. So there we have 3PO with Babu Frick from the Black Series. Target exclusive. Pretty great. I'm really, really happy with this one. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until my next video, guys, may the force be with you always.